what's happening what's happening what's happening shout out to all those beginner investors and traders out there y'all already know who it is but if you don't this is Kavai Ray Valentine I had to pull up on the black market real quick and address these comments that are popping up for the video that I just did about AMC reaching 100k or the ceiling as they say of 500k people are calling me a shield I'm just a beginner investor and trader that has been invested in GameStop a year before people were talking about a squeeze or ladder attacks, gamma squeezes, Moaz, uh, any of that. You know, people didn't even, you know, there were people that didn't even know anything about investing until you had the GameStop incident on Hulu and the, it was on CNN. You got Elon Musk talking about it and all that. And, you know, I happen to be a beginner investor, so I can see how it's easy for you to get manipulated into believing these people that are talking about data and technicals and all the shares that they shorted and all the phantom shares and all the money that they are going to have to spend because of the shorting that they were doing. If they, if Citadel bailed Melvin Capital out and if they halted GameStop trading and stopped regular retail investors from the squeeze and the potential that it had then, what will make people think that this is going to go to 100K, okay, and, or 500K? All right, for example, we're just going to say, look, I have in this portfolio here, I have 345 shares of AMC. If they let games, I mean, AMC, excuse me, go to 100K a share, that will be, we're just going to say 300 shares. That would be 300. Thirty million dollars. That'd be thirty million, right? And I'm that's just one portfolio, just one. It's people that has thousands, regular people that have thousands of shares of AMC, and I am like, and this is what I want people to understand. Of course, I want it to go to a hundred thousand dollars a share. Why wouldn't it? I wish it hit a million. Of course, I got a family. I got people that I would love to take care of so that they, you know, never have to lift a finger ever a day in their life. So believe me, I understand the hopes, the prayers and the belief. But if they halted GameStop and the potential that it had and we haven't seen GameStop reach the potential it it had. I mean, because it still is being shorted. It's still a bunch of shares out there that we don't know about in GameStop. And there are a bunch of companies that's being shorted. And that's what's not being told to you. If this squeeze happens to take place, that means, like I said, every pipe is going to bust and they are going to have to cover for all the companies that they're sh they're shorting it's just not going to be amc and gamestop so that's the reason why i'm sitting around you know wondering why people are talking about i'm a shield or i'm an agent or whatever the case is i'm a regular person that got invested in gamestop a year ago which i've been investing for about four years now but i really got serious about investing about 11 months ago and i learned a lot from gamestop and with then learning a lot from GameStop, once I happened to see it halted and then I started reading about the SEC and all the dirt that is sweeping under the rug and then all these politicians and everybody is getting involved. It's like, come on, do you honestly believe they're going to let regular people, the small man and woman, the everyday man and woman get that type of money when money is power and access? And since we already have all these issues with the pandemic and everything that Americans have not been given in these last two years do you honestly believe that they are going to let people come in contact with that type of money where they'll have power and access and control it's just almost unimaginable that people are so slow and 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 brainwashed and manipulated into believing that they are going to allow like, for example, they said AMC alone has 300 million shareholders. That's not even talking about Bed Bath & Beyond and all the other stocks that's being shorted because we're talking about maybe 100 plus stocks more or more that's being shorted. 
into oblivion. So we're talking about maybe trillions of dollars that these people will have to pay out and giving it to the regular everyday man and woman. Then that can crucify the same people that put you in the position that you were in. So it's just unbelievable that people think that I'm a bot or a shield. I'm a regular everyday man, like man that would love to take care of his. I would love it to hit 2 million, 10 million. I would love to fry these people. But do you honestly believe that all of a sudden now that these same people that have been in immoral and, and caused crashes, market crashes, people have lost their homes. People have committed suicide. People have done all type of heinous acts because of these people that are in control of their money and how that they've they've taken from everything everybody and then now all of a sudden you think that they're going to let the rabbit have the gun when they didn't even let it happen with GameStop it's just unbelievable you know what I'm saying so that's all I got to say no shield no buy and I I mean who's going to I'm just a regular person I'm I, I mean you hear me say pull up to the block market hood money invested who's going to be sponsoring this like at the end of the day, I'm just no fool and I have common sense. That's all it comes down to. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I could see it reaching 10,000 a share possibly, you know, but th just come on, man. It's people that have thought we talking about. It'll be people that will be instant millionaires, 100 million, 200 million plus, 500 million. And they'll instantly be in brackets like Warren Buffett and, and Jeff Bezos. Do you honestly believe that's going to happen? Yes, probably with crypto, but it's still not going to happen because these people are reconfiguring things so that they're going to have way more money than them. It's going to be unimaginable. So it's just, that's all I got to say, man. You can believe whatever you want. I want people to get rich. I want retail and regular everyday men and women to feel or know what it's like to live life without having no stress and no problems or none of that. But I'm not no fool when I see what's going on in the world. You know what I mean? And that's all I'm trying to say. So at the end of the day, if you feel some type of way about me talking about on paper handing and this, that, and the third, hey, you're one of the people that want me to hold so you can make money. I would be a fool to sit around and wait for a stock to go to five hundred thousand dollars. Like I would I mean, anybody would be a fool. So ain't nobody trying to hear that. You know, what I mean, y'all can go ahead and take that somewhere else. You know what I'm saying? This is Kavai Ray Valentine. You pull it up to the block market. This is hood money investing. And if you hold to one hundred thousand or five hundred K, please tell me how it worked out for you. Please, you know what I'm saying? Drop it down in the comment box because I'm not no problem. It's millions of people holding shares. And, and psychologically, if people think that everybody is collectively going to hold to 100,000 or 500 when these when these institutions and these of these high, these professional investors that are on that level, they are in it for the money. Do you honestly, and they can drop millions of shares, hundreds of thousands of shares at a time. Do you honestly believe that the, everybody's just going to hold to that target? It's just not going to happen in a, in a picture perfect world, probably, but it's not going to happen, man. It's not going to happen. You still got people that got to make up for l those losses that they, 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 for GameStop that they still haven't got back. It's people that bought in at two, three, four hundred dollars when they were when they halted GameStop at five thirty, five forty. So that's what I'm saying. And then it went all the way back down to a hundred dollars. It's people that lost their life savings. So I'm not trying to hear that. You can say whatever you want. You know, all you people are bots because it's just one way thinking. Like, it's something wrong with me for having an opinion about what could possibly happen outside of them trying to make you hold that long so that they can make money when that's all they've all been doing. All that's all they've ever been doing is making money off of your money, getting you to hold and making money. That's it. That's it. So it's just like, come on, man. Just, just. Kill me with all that, man. Like I said, it's Kavira Valentine. Do not let this game, that GameStop situation, you know, uh, uh, it just happened. Don't, don't, don't be, don't, don't, don't forget. You know, don't let your intention span be that short and forget what just happened. And and because if that was the case, GameStop would have exploded. You know, now all of a sudden they saying because again, AMC is the most shortest stock and this, and they got more momentum and da da da. Okay, yeah, that's true. But if you think they're going to allow people, regular people to get that type of power and access, I mean, 
You, you, hey, man, hey, hey, you tell me about it, please. You know what I'm saying? Because I had old AMC in all my portfolios, and I'm going to sell in one portfolio and hold in one, and we'll see. But if you think I'm going to hold in all my portfolios so all of them go up to 100K or 500, man, you a fool. You know, that's you a fool. Like I said, you tell me how it worked out and tell me how you feel about holding to 100K down in the comments, please. And be realistic, people. Don't keep talking about data and, 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 and all that because most of y'all can't even understand it. And, and, and it's, un, it's almost unbelievable since that most of you don't understand it, but you are agreeing with it and, and, and just automatically believe that these people are right when the data and, and all that didn't matter when it came to GameStop because it was the same thing that caused that squeeze when it was shorted. I mean, when it was halted. So it's just like, come on, man. Like I said, I'm out of here. Goodbye, Ray Valentine. It's the black market. I'm out. They out there panicking right now. I can feel it. They out there. They're panicking. Look at them. Now, you're not naive enough to think we're living in a democracy, are you, buddy? It's the free market. And you're part of it. Something just came across my desk, John. It is perhaps the best thing I've seen in the last six months. If you have 60 seconds, I'd like to share the idea with you. You got a minute? Mm -hmm. After everything we've done for you. Oh, see, I made Lewis a bet here. See, Lewis bet me that we couldn't both get rich and put you on the poorhouse at the same time. He didn't think we could do it. I won. I lost. One dollar. Thank you, Lewis. After you. Certainly. <laughs>